Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through my workout for the day. Today's workout will take 30 minutes to complete one round, so if that's all you want to do today, that's fine. If you are up for it, you can repeat it. It's going to be a challenging one though. I have my interval timer set for 20 rounds of 40 seconds cardio, followed by 50 seconds maximum repetitions for each exercise. So I want you to listen to your body during this workout. If you're able to do the cardio, fantastic. If it becomes too intense, you can use the 40 seconds as a rest break in between each exercise. Or if you want, you can alternate. Do one round of cardio, your next 50 second interval, a round of rest, and continue to repeat throughout. Listen to your own body, push yourself. If you need a break, take it and then get right back to it when you can. Um, I am wearing my heart rate monitor today so I can give you guys an idea of the burn for this one. Um, it's going to be a little different for everyone based on your own personal height, weight, fitness level. But push yourself hard and you're going to get a good workout today. For this routine, I have a chair for a few exercises and a weight. If you don't have a weight, you can use something just to add a little resistance or just do the exercises with body weight. So the very first exercise, I'm going to do high knees. If you prefer to do jump roping for your cardio, you can do that. You guys are ready? And have some water handy in case you need it. Core tight, high knees, or jump rope, whatever your cardio of choice is. I hope you guys warmed up before you started. Make sure you're breathing and your arms are moving. And try and remember to keep your core pulled in. Curtsy, lunge, and curl is next. So we're gonna start with our weight, shoulder height, step back the opposite corner of the room. We're going to do all one side. So together and curl it up. Every time that you stand, curl the weight to your shoulders. Weight to the outside of your hip. Good job, guys. Keep breathing. We're going to have a round of cardio now. And then same thing on the other side. Make sure you're breathing. Good job guys, keep moving. Okay, so back to the weight. Stepping to the opposite corner with your opposite leg. And up, outside of your hip, and up. Keep the core strong helps protect your back. Plus it's a bonus workout for your transverse abs. Okay, cardio. Good job guys. We're going to be down on the mat for the next one. Doing a dolphin press. If you're not feeling challenged, pick up the pace a little bit. Core tight, 
clasp your hands. We're gonna press our back flat, hips up toward the ceiling, come back to plank. Core strong, let those heels press. Keep breathing. Hit your plank every time you come forward. Okay, cardio. We're gonna be using our chair for the next one. Weight is optional. Controlling motion. Forcing that standing leg to do all the work. side next. Okay. Here we go. Left leg extending. Kick. Core tight. Kick to the side. Forward. Leave it up. And press back. reverse a little harder that time. Okay, side plank. We're going to step our back leg behind, tap it down, and kick it up. Keep the core tight. Using those core muscles to lift it. Keep breathing. Oh. 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 
We're gonna do a cardio burst and then be on to the other side for this one. Cardio. Make sure those knees are getting high. When you get them high, you work those low abs. Good job, guys. Okay, other side. Whatever side you didn't just do. Side plank. Elbow points toward the ceiling the whole time. Tap it back, core tight, kick it up. Extended arm should be below your shoulder, close to it. Keep that core working. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Hopefully you're sweating already. Okay, cardio. We're gonna use our chair for the next exercise. Windshield wiper dips. Get those knees high. Push the pace if you're able to. to have lunge jump squats. Okay, core tight. We're going to step back into a lunge. We're going to lunge jump, lunge jump, squat, and you can squat jump too. So it'll be lunge, lunge jump, lunge jump, Squat and jump. Down 
dog, toe touch, two plank stretch. Start in plank. Core tight. We're gonna do right hand first. So touch your opposite toe. Reach forward, stretch it out. And back. If you need to, you can rest in plank in between. If not, keep it moving. Core tight. Good job, guys. Okay, cardio, and then on to the other side. So the opposite hand is gonna reach next time. Push your cardio. Don't slack on that pacing. Like I 
said, pick up the pace if you are able to. Otherwise, focus on the squeeze at the top. Okay, cardio. Go back to that sprint. lunge kick alternating so like we did in that first move stepping toward the back corner kick and then we're going to squat in between step to the back corner kick squat alternating sides core stays tight hips pressed back Stays lifted. Cardio. We're going to be grabbing our weight for the next exercise. Getting close to the end, guys. Not there yet, but almost. A few more exercises left. 
We're gonna be down on our mats for the next one. Okay, back down on the mat. We're gonna do a side plank and just hold it. So forearm plank, core tight, shoulder and elbow right below your shoulder, top elbow pointed at the ceiling and shoulders stacked. So no forward lean, try and keep it a nice straight line if you're able to hold. Sometimes the static poses are harder than the moving ones. Keep breathing. Cardio. We're going to do the other side next. Push that pace, guys. Knees higher. Don't let them slack. Only doing this a couple more times. There we go. Side plank hold on the other side. Core tight. And breathe. Try and keep the abs pulled in. It'll give you a better workout and help you keep your form throughout the exercise. Get those knees high. And get in your sprint. Pick it up. Let those arms move with you. Two exercises left on the mat. Single leg frog or push up. You can do a push up from your knees if you need to. We're gonna lift one leg. Push up, jump forward, jump back, lift the other leg. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. Last cardio sprint. So give it all you've got. One exercise left. Really push. He's driving high. Chopper alternating, grab your weight. Oh. Okay. 
Weight goes overhead. We're gonna reach it to the right and up. Left and up. If you want, you can tap it almost to the ground as long as you're able to do it while keeping that back flat. Final exercise, guys. Are you guys sweaty? <laughs> I hope you are, I am. So that was one round of today's workout. It was a 30 minute workout, so you can be done there if you want, or you can repeat it as always. The breakdown will be on my website, benderfitness.com, with hundreds of other free workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. And my burn so far on that workout is 308 calories. So, that's not including the afterburn, it'll continue to go a little bit. Be sure to hydrate if you're gonna repeat. Take, some, take a water break, move around a little bit, and then restart. If you are done, be sure to do a cool down, so let your heart rate come down to a normal level, and then you can do some static stretching. Okay guys, have fun. Click subscribe if you like getting free workouts, and click like if you like this workout, and I hope you guys come back and work with me again soon. Bye.